G'day everyone, Mr. Weenie here. Today, I'm going to review a game I recently played on Steam known as Wild West Dynasty. Developed by Moon Punch Studio and published by Top Litz Productions, Wild West Dynasty has been involved in several similar theme simulation and survival building games, such as Medieval Dynasty, their most successful game published, and Farmer's Dynasty, another life simulator. Just to name a few. Wild West Dynasty is an open world simulation game that combines elements of survival, role playing and city building set in the American frontier during the 19th century. The game allows players to experience life in the Wild West where they can build their own settlement, engage in various professions and shape their own destiny. However, the only destiny you'll be shaping is a torturous one. Right off the bat you can see in my gameplay how terribly optimised this garbage is. Low frame rates, stuttering and constant freezes will be your biggest enemy in Wild West Dynasty. Not bandits, wolves or the cold weather. For a game looking like it was made for the PlayStation 2, you would think my 2080 Ti would be able to handle it, right? The game is so incredibly unoptimized, glitchy and bug ridden, it had me in disbelief when I discovered that this game had been in development for three years. Moon Punch Studio is a relatively lesser known game development studio. There are no other widely recognized or notable titles attributed to this studio from what I could find. So this might be their first attempt at creating a video game, which would explain why it's so utterly devoid of any enjoyment whatsoever. Which leads me to my next point, gameplay. The survival mechanics are simplistic and dumbed down compared to most. The game's survival, crafting and building systems are repetitive and lacking substance. The quest design is abysmal and uninspiring many of them being generic fetch or delivery tasks that don't contribute to a compelling story at all. The NPCs are also brain dead drones that are inconsistent and unresponsive. This just makes it feel like an unengaging experience for the player and the voice acting just feels like it's been generated by AI or has either been sourced off Fiverr. Just listen to this. You get to know the people you travel with. Makes you grow closer, makes you suspicious. Even of those meant to guide you, Especially of those meant to guide you. Stop! Where's it going? Damn. I had a bad feeling about you from the start. Where did you go? Why now? Is this an ambush? Are you giving back up? Or are you just letting the storm do the dirty work for you? Where am I? The fire will burn out. I need more sticks. I have to find shelter. Somebody has already started repairing this. I'm so tired. I should look around. I should look around. Nice voice acting. My game just froze. Cool. I should look around. <laughs> UI is terrible. UI is just lazy. Most of the animations and interactions in game have no sound effects or audio, which breaks the immersion for the player. I personally felt it was incredibly jarring as lack of feedback takes away from so much of what a survival game is all about. Really any game actually. I myself love a great user interface, a gameplay feature most often overlooked as it might seem like a boring thing to focus on. But I love it when I can open up a menu or a map in game and be amazed at the effort that was put into making such a good UI. Some examples being Path of Exile or Kingdom Come Deliverance, just look at these beautiful UIs. Wild West Dynasty's UI is the epitome of horse manure. It's generic, ugly, and hard to navigate. Especially when half your time is spent in menus looking for crafting recipes and building plans to expand your settlement. Which I didn't do by the way because I turned off the game before I got to that point as I was so bored shitless, I decided watching paint dry would be more preferable than torturing myself any further with this piece of shit game. While the concept of combining survival, role playing and city building in a Wild West setting is intriguing, many players much like myself feel that the execution falls short of its ambitious goals. The game just tries to do too much at once, trying to cram as many genres into one game as possible to appeal to a larger audience. While Wild West Dynasty has an interesting concept and a promising setting, its negative reception stems from a combination of technical shortcomings, unpolished gameplay and an overall lack of refinement. Myself and critics alike feel that the game could have benefited from more development time to address these issues before release. I mean the Steam DB charts say it all. The all time peak was more than a year ago when the early access was released for a short period of time. The 24 hour peak had no more than 300 people playing with current players showing just below 200. 
Not to mention the scathing negative reviews on the Steam Store page. Guys, there is nothing of value to be salvaged from this dung heap of a game, so don't even bother giving it a go. That's all I have to say. It's going to be a 0 out of 10. It's a 0 out of 10. See ya.